All right, well, this is a new piece of gear that we have at AMP3. This is our own design, and it really has come to uh, full development, and I think it's about time we do a video. Now, this is called our Bat Pack 2, and this bag is designed to hold two batteries held together by one of our tech plates. You could certainly use the bag with uh, two batteries and hook the batteries up in uh, parallel with your own wiring uh, constraint. We made the bag so that it was a little bit lower than the tech plate and the flap large enough so that when you folded the flap over and secured it with the buckles that it would keep the bag tight whether you were using the tech plate or if you just wanted the batteries by themselves this flap will fold down and keep the batteries secure. This tech plate has finally come to uh, full development. I want to thank the folks that bought the first edition. We had a little trouble with the connectors at the battery post and uh, Bill Harrison at Hardin Power Systems has corrected that. He came up with a really good solution and I will take this apart so you can take a look at it. This is really meant to be attached and left in place and not meant to be taken off the batteries uh, very often and it's it's set up so that you can turn the voltmeter on and see what your power is. You have several circuits here the way you charge these batteries in place and just leave this tech plate mounted on the batteries all bundled up in the bag is through a battery charger using these Anderson power poles and the battery charger that I've been using is this Genius G1100. It's a 1.1 uh, uh, smart charger and it uh, charges these batteries without a problem. These are um, sealed lead acid batteries and what I did is when I bought this uh, charger I cut the cable where the battery ends are and I installed a set of Anderson power poles. Now I've got a set of cables with Anderson power pole on one end and battery connector on the other end that I can use with this charger anytime I want or more importantly very easy to hook up to the tech plate plug this in and trickle charge these batteries so this is a good little system to think about and it's very compact now let me show you one quick use for this battery supply. Um, you can, uh, uh, of course, imagine a lot of different uh, uses, but one thing that I have used it for is to power and charge my handheld Baofeng radio. Now one thing I like about these Baofeng radios is the charger base has a barrel plug, so the, char the charging wall wart that comes with the uh, radio has a small barrel connector and that's how you charge it on AC but what I do is I went to Radio Shack and I got another barrel connector that fits this base and I can very easily plug this into the fused circuit and I can charge this handheld radio for quite an extended period of time. In this case I have two 8 amp hour batteries hooked together in parallel which is 16 amp hours. That'll keep this little handheld charged and happy for quite a long time and I can just let it sit here and operate as a little mini base station if I want when I need it, it's charged, ready to go. I just pull it out of its charger and I'm on my way. So that's very, very good for portability. And the whole, whole goal behind this system that we've been developing at AMP3 is to give you as much flexibility and capability to be portable as possible for your communications. 
Now this bag is padded. It has a bellows, Velcro closed mesh pocket. And this is a good place to keep some 12 volt accessories. In this case, I'm keeping some extra fuses which plug into the end of the tech plate. You can pick and choose a fuse that meets your particular power requirements. You can certainly keep a couple of adapters in here. One that comes to mind would be this uh, barrel connector and Anderson power pole. Now for those of you that are interested in the tech plate and for those of you that already have one, um, I want to point out these slots that are in the corners. This is where you have direct access to the battery terminals for the battery underneath. And this is where the slip connectors that power the tech plate, you have access. And I think it's very important that you recognize that you can't just slide this tech plate on. What will happen is the force of the tech plate sliding on the battery uh, terminals will make the terminals on the tech plate bend and eventually that will be a weak spot and you'll break the uh, connectors off. But with the access slots you can reach down and with a small flat blade screwdriver you can reach down and gently coax on two of the connectors, turn the set around, put the next battery on and use the uh, slots on the other end for the other connectors. So these access points are very helpful for installation. Once you get the Velcro straps mounted around the battery, you want to carry you want to carry and use this unit as a single unit and resist the urge to pick the whole thing up from the tech plate. You want to really support the batteries. And what I do is I just turn the thing upside down and then slide the tech pack off and when I get ready to put the bag on I do the same thing. After I've mounted the batteries and they're all set I, I gently roll the unit sideways and then just slide the bag on and then roll the bag and the battery and the tech plate as a unit. Now this is the bottom of the tech plate and you can see that's quite a bit of uh, engineering there and uh, Bill does a wonderful job. We were having trouble at the connector right here and what Bill did is switch out the um, stranded wire to solid wire and that has been very very helpful and works well and as long as you slide these on and coax those connectors on through this top plate using a flat blade screwdriver and you just gently move this on and secure the velcro straps you should be good for a long service with this it's very very well done it's all uh, CNC machined and uh, stainless steel screws and heavy duty connectors when you're putting the tech plate on for the first time Take your battery straps and put them on the top of the plate and cross them like this and that keeps them out of the way when you're attaching the batteries. And basically you do one end and then do the other end and use the uh, flat blade screwdriver to access down through the top corner here to guide those connectors on. Okay, you want to arrange your batteries so the terminals are at opposite ends of each other. This is the um, access ports that I wanted to bring your attention to and again just a small flat blade screwdriver can help guide those terminals in, in this direction as you're sliding the tech plate onto the uh, battery terminals. When you're done you'll flip this around and you'll do the same thing on the opposite side but before you do that you want to flip this over and you want to secure that velcro strap. The automotive fuse fits right at the very end. There's a little water resistant cap that covers everything. Very easy to replace that fuse or to change it to fit whatever gear requirements you might have. Alright, there you have it. This is the AMP3 tech plate 
used to hook two batteries together in parallel. You've got a switched unfused circuit right down the center. You've got a unfused, unswitched circuit that you can use for any accessories and you can charge from this side and you've got one fused circuit that you can use to power sensitive equipment such as a radio and you've got a switched voltage meter so you can keep track of your power reserves in this double battery hooked together in parallel nice unit and it fits in our custom Amp 3 battery bag 2. Slide the bag on and then just roll it forward as a unit and you're good to go. Amp 3 tech plate, Amp 3 battery bag 2.